Hey guys, it's your girl Yon Bond, and today I'm back with another video, but we're doing something a little different. You guys are used to vlogs, of course, and of course I'm gonna keep vlogging. This is just like a little step back into something a little different. And I figured I'd do this video just because I'm so excited that I got a new phone. So I'm pretty sure you guys can obviously guess what phone I have. It's probably in the title anyway. Really excited because I got this bad boy right here. Yes, an iPhone 10. Um, I'm just really excited. So, you know, your girl went from a 16 gig and now she got a 256. So, <laughs> like, I done moved up, y'all. I done moved all the way up to the top. So this is an unboxing video, but technically I kind of already unboxed it because I needed to make sure everything was in there. Like, imagine me coming on this video and opening up the box and seeing that the phone is missing. So I technically unboxed it and then I did charge the phone because I wanted to make sure that it was all charged up for the video, which was a good thing I did because it was only like half percent or whatever. I'm going to unbox this phone and then I'm gonna do a few comparisons between the both of them, um, camera wise mostly. So opening this bad boy up, Uh, it comes with this thing. It says design in California. Let's actually look at this. Stickers, of course. And then it comes with this little thing. So this is almost like a little manual. You know, I think Apple tells themselves like we don't need to give manuals. You already know how to work your phone. But um, it's just telling you like the different buttons. So. It says, welcome to the iPhone, Face ID. Face ID recognizes your face to unlock your phone, authorize Apple payments, and more. And home, swipe up to go home. So, as you guys know, there is no home button. So, you gotta swipe up. Um, ring slash silent. So, those buttons are still the same on the sides. You guys can see probably can't see up down home up down volume I mean um, tap to wake so tap anywhere on the screen to wake up the phone of course no home button anymore so you need to tap it to say hello I'm here uh, 3d touch access menu shortcuts content by pressing on the screen with 3d touch okay I don't really know what that is but we're gonna figure that out Okay, side button, press and hold to hold to turn on the phone and, or activate Siri. So that makes sense. There's no more home button. So you gotta just hold the lock on the side to turn on the phone, turn off the phone. And then um, Siri is just click and hold. Press once to sleep or wake. So same thing for the lock. Uh, press twice to activate Apple Pay. Okay, that's cool. I actually just started using Apple Pay. I know. I'm behind. I literally just put it on my phone like a week ago. Wireless charging. With the screen facing up, place iPhone on compatible wireless charger to charge. Um, wireless charging, I didn't, they like, they didn't come out with the Apple one yet. But on the Apple website, they are currently selling a Morphe one, and I can't remember what the other one is, but I didn't get those yet. The phone does come with a charger. I didn't get those yet. I'd rather just wait until the iPhone one comes out. It's probably not going to come out until next year, but I'll just charge it like regular now, and then when the iPhone one comes out, I'll get it. So in the box, as you guys can see, you have the little connector USB to the wall adapter and whatever that crap is called you have your headphones so and then you have the adapter I do wish we still had a headphone port but the reason for them doing this is because they're trying to do everything wireless of course and then of course it comes with the cable for the charger now, this is the actual phone. Hello. Hello, girl. How you doing? 
Hola. So this is the phone. As you guys can see, it is full screened. And I just want you guys to know this is not gonna be like a tech video because I don't know nothing about like all that tech stuff. So don't expect this. I'm just showing y'all the phone. So this is the back. You see the camera is now this way. So the phone is back to glass. Remember when Apple was glass in the back? Glass in the back again. Is the 7 glass in the back? I wouldn't freaking know because my phone is my old phone. <laughs> my old phone is not glass in the back. It's titanium. If I can take it out this case. Let's take it out the case. Was not glass in the back. And this one is we're back to old iPhones when it was glass in the back. I do wish this one came in this color though. That's my only thing. Because when I saw it, I was like, ah, okay, I guess. Now for the speakers, these are the differences in the speakers. It's really hard to see the iPhone 10. I'm sorry guys. But as you guys can see, this one has a phone jack, a uh, headphone jack, and this one doesn't. This one doesn't. And this one has more speaker space. So we have speakers going across this way and all the way across that way. And this one just has the speakers on this side. All the other buttons are exactly the same. I do want to say that the phones are exactly the same size. Okay, maybe not exactly. This one is a tad bigger. Like, this is them side by side. I'm really glad because when I saw it, for some reason, I thought that it was gonna be the size of the Plus. Um, and that's a little too big for me because this I could take out, put in my pocket, things like that. And I feel like the Plus is so humongous. All right guys, so basically I'm gonna just set this phone up real quick because there's certain things like I need to do, I need to transfer information, stuff like that. I'm gonna set it up real quick and I'm gonna come back and the phone will be good to go. But I'm gonna do like the face ID setup and everything like that on camera for you guys. So now it's giving me the message to do the face ID, so I'm gonna do it. I'm guessing it's kinda gonna be like the thumbprint, but let's give it a try. So let's continue how to set up face ID. First position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in the circle to show all angles of your face. That's the message. All right, now let's get started. <sighs> okay, well, I look crazy. Mm. Okay, first scan ID complete. Okay, second face is set up. Okay, I hope it works. <laughs> All right, continue. Create a passcode. Just making sure it's me. Allow date and iCloud settings. Apple Pay is set up, now Siri. So to use Siri, press and hold the side button or say, hey Siri at any time. That's cool. Hey Siri, it's me. Siri will now recognize your voice whenever you say, hey Siri. Cool. Ooh, my background is back and I got some messages uh, from work. <laughs> the screen, this is what the screen looks like. It's so big and pretty. Yes, all my contacts is there. That's why you back up your phone. Okay, all my contacts are there. Right, I'm trying to get used to swiping up. Um, so far I will say that the face ID works just fine. Uh, I've done it a couple times already, like not even realizing that I'm doing it. Let's lock it. Oh, it just, it just did it. It just did it. It knew I was there. All right, let's lock it. <laughs> let's lock it. Let's tap to wake it up. Unlocked. And then you swipe up. You just look at it and you swipe it up. Um, and it was... It was pretty quick. About to 
film a couple videos with the front camera on this one and the front camera on that one and we're gonna do a comparison and I'm gonna do the same with the back cameras and we're gonna put it in this video so you guys can see I want you guys to see both of these videos and then compare it to how you guys are seeing me on camera right now so on camera um, the camera obviously has the best quality and the camera uh, I don't have any color filter anything I, I'm not editing this out right now uh, to put any specific colors on the camera this is what the camera color is giving me with the light so I want you guys to like see the two videos of the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 10 uh, front and back cameras and then look at me through this camera and see which one is closer. Okay. So hey guys, I'm just testing out the two phones um, on Snapchat. So this is the iPhone 6 and this is the look. Now this is on the iPhone 10. This is the front camera now. I do feel like it's more true tone. So right now we're doing the back camera on the iPhone 6. We're just gonna do a little comparison real quick. Okay, now this is the back camera on the iPhone 10. Uh, how does it look to you guys? Does it look brighter? So this is me on my front camera of the iPhone 6 right now. Um, this is how I look. So this is iPhone 10 front camera right now. I want to say that the camera is clearer, but I want to say that it's also much more reddish. And this is outside. You guys can see like how the iPhone 6 is compared to and this is outside. You guys can see like how the iPhone 6 is compared to the iPhone. 6. I would say that basically like there is a bit of a quality difference not crazy crazy but there is a bit of quality difference but most of it comes from the color there's a, a definitely a color difference so you're seeing more saturation with the iphone 10 it's almost making me look reddish um in this specific light uh maybe if i went on a different background that didn't have a yellow background uh, but a white background that the light would bounce off differently. Maybe I wouldn't look as red. There's definitely a, a saturation okay, difference, and it's and it's clearer. Camera. Like it's it's a clearer camera, but it, it's really a a color a color difference, and that's what I get. What they were saying, um, true tones, uh, because where i look really like washed out on the iphone 6 i look a little more saturated a little more reddish um on the iphone 10 I, I wouldn't say that i like this red per se but i want to try it in different settings so it's really your preference right um i wish i would have been able to record when i had you know full lighting uh like where if I like when I had full what's it called full daylight so I could see what I look like in daylight I kind of did it when the sun is setting so the sun is already affecting the way I look automatically when the sun is setting on both phones you're gonna look more yellowish um so you get that difference but yeah obviously the 10 is clearer I felt like you could really see so much more in the way I look there um, but it's cool. You just got to start slaying your makeup a little bit better now, um, or get some better editing or something. But, um, I did want to show you guys, uh, you know, the emoji stuff that was really cute. So basically when you're texting someone, this is me texting Harton. He predicted what time my phone was going to come today. And he was literally like right on key. Um, so we were chatting or whatever. Parton actually has the iPhone 8. He just got the 8. Um, so if you guys want to know what the iPhone 8 is like, I can put it in the blog um, coming up and he can talk about it. But so on the bottom here, which the other phone did not have, of course, you have all these little stuff on the bottom. So 
you can go to the app store this is the emoji stuff this is digital touch okay i don't know what digital touch is um images music pandora bitmoji tumblr gifs youtube oh okay you can send a little song um from apple music you can send it right to him that's pretty cool you can record and draw now that's that's cute hi monkey how you doing monkey hi baby this is me trying out my new phone let me know what you think a thing about the face ID, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, anybody could put a picture of themselves to the phone, or somebody could just push the phone in your face, blah, blah, blah. But it will only unlock if you're focused on it. If you're not focused on it, it's not gonna open. So, it, and it's true, it's true depth. So, you cannot put a flat picture in front of it it's not gonna work um even if it looks even if it's a picture of you a flat picture is not gonna work because it's going with the depths of your face not the way you actually look um that's why if you have if you grow a beard or um change your hairstyle it's going to still recognize you because it remembers the contours of your face um also you have to be focused on it. So somebody could put it in your face and if you're looking at it, yes, it will open. But if you're if you are like not paying attention, somebody's trying to get you to open your phone and they put it like this, it's not gonna open. And um yeah, as soon as like as soon as you touched it, like I was talking just now to you guys and it wouldn't unlock, but as soon as I looked at it, it unlocked. Thank you. Charge. Yes, both of them are still ringing at the same time, but I'll figure it out. Uh, Thank you. No problem. Love you. Love you too. Later. Uh. So the ringtone is different, but okay. So when you're not looking at the phone, it will ring louder as soon as it realizes. It realizes that you looked at it and you have it in your hand and you're focusing on it the ringtone will automatically decrease its volume which is really cool because obviously if I'm looking at the phone I know that it's ringing you don't not you don't need to blast the ringtone in my ear maybe I just don't want to answer it so that's why it was really low because like when he called like I, I picked it up <laughs> on Instagram scrolling or whatever look up Patricia I follow some beautiful black girls. Alyssa. Yes, Drea. Okay. Shade room and all my friends and stuff like that. So, I'm dead. Say I'm in this app and I want to get out of the app. All I have to do is swipe up like that and just throw it away. If I didn't want to get out of it but I just wanted to hold it there, I would just hold it like that. I would just hold it like that and then I could switch between all my apps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quick, short. I just wanted to show you guys my new phone. Um, if you liked it, let me know. If you're not feeling it, let me know too. Either way, I'm keeping it and I like it because it's an upgrade and it has way more space on it. So it's not affecting me. But, you know, if there are certain specs that you dislike, discuss it with each other below. Alright guys, see you next time. Bye!